So the story behind this job is I was doing some tree work and a guy saw us using the crane and I didn't talk to him because I was up in the tree. But then later he called and said, hey, can you put a steeple on the church? I was like, yeah, I could probably do that. And I'm like, what is a steeple? You know, what? what is the symbology of that, the symbolism of that? I'm not a big, a guy that's big into symbols and stuff like that. My boy Hezekiah, he was like, Oh, Dad, it's fine. You're 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 building a church. That's cool. <laughs> and my boy looked into it, and he said that because they need a roof over their bell, and they like their bell to be up high where it can reach farther. And so, although I'm not a big symbol guy, I was like, yeah, it sounds like a worthwhile thing to do. So when I went there to talk to him, I was thinking this thing just looks like it's made out of vinyl fencing or something. You know, the white the cross up there. And the guy's all, no, it's strong. It'll it'll carry the, the load of whatever weight you put on it. And I'm like, the cross carries the burden of whatever weight you need to put on it. And I was like, I like the sound of that. So uh, I went and helped him do that. But what's extra interesting about this is the guy that called me to do it is someone who had seen us working with the crane and uh, didn't talk to him because I was in the tree at the time but when he called him when I went out there to meet him his name was Clarence Bartow and I already knew his name because he's a uh, world champion speed climber for uh, some of the timber carnivals you, in the northwest timber carnivals you know they run up the pole they like zoom down um, they, they have this clown act where they pretend to fall off a hundred foot pole and uh, Clarence Bartow is a local legend from from the industry on that side of the industry and his brother Steve and then I think um, Steve's son Brian so local legends calling me to do a job it just seems really cool like like standing before kings you know it's, it's just kind of neat to to meet this guy and he said that can I come out to one of your jobs sometime and I'm like yeah let's do it and so in the future we'll get Clarence Bartow out there and maybe get him to talk a little more um, because he's got quite an interesting story. This is Clarence Bartow, two-time world champion speed climber. Four-time world champion speed climber. <laughs> I broke the world record twice. Now I'm retired for about 40 years. I knew of you long before I met you the other day, and Steve, and a guy named Lyle Mahoney. Oh yeah. 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 So. And my brother's boy, Brian, he's like the best there is now. Oh, cool. In climbing. And yeah, it was a fun sport while it lasted, and, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get Clarence out on a job. Yeah, so. I'd love to come out on a job and watch you guys do some tree work. I used to do some tree work, but I haven't done any for a long time. Probably a faller. Timber faller. I can still do that really good. Yeah, good. <laughs> the Monkey Beaver Sewing Shop is literally a block away, and they gave me the stand that they had their steeple on. It's like a table that's nearly done. Take it into the shop. <laughs> well, that was perfect. 